from Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. I'm Kara Sundle with some of your top stories today. Our state is working hard to crack down on COVID-related price gouging after nearly 2,000 complaints about the prices of things like hand sanitizer, toilet paper, all of them being jacked up during the pandemic. Today, Attorney General William Tong, state lawmakers and hospitals announced a new bill to combat the gouging. Everybody who might be responsible for price gouging, including distributors and wholesalers, and to move up the stream of commerce. Attorney General Tong says the bill also clarifies exactly what price gouging means. The Yukon Stores campus has been updated to a COVID-19 red alert level. That is high risk. The campus now has a 0.72% positivity rate. So that's under 1%. And despite the low positivity rate, a red alert can also be triggered by low participation in testing or if contact tracing is not able to pinpoint the source of current cases. This afternoon, Naugatuck High School students planned protesting in response to a racist post that surfaced on social media. The comments were allegedly made two years ago by the police chief's daughter. And as of this afternoon, there are three separate investigations into these posts, including from the Board of Ed since the chief's wife is the assistant principal at Naugatuck High. The second is an internal investigation by Naugatuck police and the town, and a third is an external private investigation. All right, and weatherwise across Connecticut, uh, we, as expected, this uh, forecast played out very nicely. One to four inches with some locally higher amounts from the round of snow late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Now our focus is on a brutal combination of Arctic cold, the coldest air in likely two years with a co combined, of course, with the wind that will make it feel dramatically colder. So Friday morning, waking up to wind chill values below zero. That's basically where we're going to spend much of Friday, wind chill values near or below zero. The worst of the cold and the wind, we're talking about wind gusts, 30 to 40 miles an hour comes Friday night to Saturday morning. That's when wind chill values could go uh, to between 10 to 20 degrees below zero. At least we will end the week and start the weekend on a dry and bright note. Morning low temperatures this week can go down into the single digits. Then we're watching a potential coastal storm early next week from Monday to Tuesday.